All right, have you been thinking about trying to go more minimal, trying to declutter your space so that you can free up your time, your resources, your energy, all of it, but you're just so completely overwhelmed by the thought of all of this, decluttering your home, that it, it literally paralyzes you? I have been there. I am someone that relates to you so, so well. Hello, I am Candace, and today I wanna help you overcome your decluttering anxiety so that you can make those steps to becoming more minimal and clutter free. I've decluttered over half of my possessions. It's taken me months, but I've been able to stick with it and accomplish my goals. So it can be done. I'm gonna let you know how I did it and how you can do it too. Let's do it. The first thing I recommend doing is picking your zone. Where are you going to start? For me, I've, I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I started in the pantry. This was an area that I used multiple times a day and it was pretty bad. So I knew if I was able to get control of this, my life would drastically improve in a very, very short amount of time, but you do not have to pick a big area, a place that's gonna take you literally all day or maybe multiple days. You can pick a really, really small area to begin. I actually have a video all about little 10 minute decluttering tasks that you can bust out in no time at all just to gain some momentum. But really my tips for decluttering, either a big area or a small area are the same. So let's go ahead and talk about step number two, which I think is critical. Like don't skip it. Envision your ideal end goal. What do you want this space to look like? What do you want it to feel like? How do you want it to function? For me, I'm very visual, so I knew exactly what I wanted it to look like. I'm talking about my pantry again. <laughs> totally up to you how you want it to look, how you want it to function. This is really cool because this is your own space. You can actually get a little bit creative. Maybe you wanna stay away from Pinterest altogether and come up with your own design ideas, but really don't be overwhelmed. This step is meant to be super, Fun. This is the part that you can feel a little bit more creative and start to get super inspired and really motivated. So wherever you want to go for inspiration is up to you. Maybe you saw a place at like out and about, maybe at your friend's house. You're like, that looks so good. But like I said, do not skip this step. Go ahead and get your vision in mind, have it in the forefront of your mind. This is actually going to help power you through this entire process. So this is super important. In fact, guys, take a second to let me know in the comments, where are you going to begin? Or where are you at least gonna start thinking about? You don't even have to start decluttering, but starting to envision your end goal is a really crucial step. So where are you gonna start planning your space? Is it gonna be in the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom? It doesn't matter at all. Maybe it's in your backyard. I would love to know and chat with you guys and know what some of your ideas are. I think it's really cool to see how we are all so creative and so different. You have got to set yourself up for success. So what I recommend doing is grabbing just three bins. They can be bags that you got from Target or Walmart. It really doesn't matter. But I would grab a trash bag, a donation bag, and a keep bag. So you might want your donation and your keep bins or bags to be a little bit larger. Maybe you want to use a trash bag. You might use a trash bag for all three of these. In fact, that's not a bad idea, but just get three separate bins, bags, boxes, whatever you fancy. So you know where you're going to begin. You have your vision in mind. You're feeling a little bit more inspired, a tiny bit more motivated, hopefully, and you are setting yourself up for success. The next thing is super, super simple. You are going to give yourself 10 to 15 minutes of uninterrupted time. <laughs> oh, this can be so hard. I am a mom of three little ones and with homeschooling right now, it is tough. It can be really tough. So it could be at night, in the morning, in the afternoon, during nap, whenever you want, but try and give yourself at least 10 to 15 minutes of hopefully uninterrupted time because this is where you're gonna get a ton, a ton of work done. You won't believe what you can accomplish in this short amount of time. All right, so you are gonna get in there and you're gonna be ruthless. Try not to stew over decisions too long. Try and just let things go. If you're uncertain about something, maybe have a separate maybe pile. So you've got your donate and keep, then maybe you have like a think about it pile. So you can have that if you want. I did not let myself have that. Um, I maybe over the course of 
the several months that I decluttered half my stuff, I let myself think about two items max, and in the end, it was a huge benefit because I, I just realized that these were items that I didn't really need, and I learned that I did not end up missing them. Just think, do I need this? Do I lo love this item? <laughs> like love it enough to clean it, maintain it. This is a really fun time to get caught up on a podcast you've been wanting to listen to, watch a YouTube video, listen to some music. This is like 10 minutes of you time because hopefully you're not being interrupted. So do something else while you're at it. Make it as fun as possible. And I'm gonna be honest, when I started my pantry, I thought I'm gonna spend 30 minutes max. Like I think if I go on beyond 30 minutes, I will have a breakdown and I did not want that. So I told myself, you're gonna get in here for 30 minutes, roughly, you're just gonna see what you can get done and save the rest for tomorrow. I ended up spending about eight hours on that pantry and I got the entire thing done. You don't have to do this, but I think you're gonna be able to see that you're just gonna gain momentum as you go. The main thing is that you get in there. You've just got to begin. So you're gonna do all the things that I just talked about to get yourself set up for complete success. And if after 10 minutes you wanna keep going, that is awesome, but do not obligate yourself past the 10 minutes. All right, so whether you've spent 10 to 15 minutes or um, two hours, whatever it is, if the job is not completely done, you have got to make an appointment to come back. This is crucial because leaving a job half done is not gonna benefit you. In fact, it's just gonna be a source of more frustration. So make sure you schedule a time to come back, whether it's tomorrow or in a week. Try and do this whole thing over again until the job is done. Hopefully you can get it done in the amount of time that you are thinking. Maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer. That is totally fine. Be really gentle on yourself. Don't beat yourself up at all. So no matter how long this takes you, you are making progress every minute that you spend on your project. So just give yourself a high five for that and move on without feeling guilty at all. Remember that success feeds success. You are going to be able to feel this incredible empowerment as you are able to make these decisions and see the progress and the transformation before your eyes. So if you can just get started and then start building on your own momentum, I think you will be completely unstoppable and you might not even recognize yourself. That is exactly exactly what happened to me. But don't worry, even if it's still hard, even if you still dread it, tweak this a little bit. Maybe it works best for you to always work in the morning, always work with somebody by your side. Maybe you need a friend or a spouse with you to help you make these decisions. You're gonna wanna make sure that you are tailoring this to your own personality and needs, but this is what worked really, really well for me. There is nothing better than a motivation going into a project like this. I know you don't always have to have motivation to get things accomplished, but it is really, really nice to have. So I wanna give you some decluttering motivation right now in this video so that hopefully by the end of it, you will be feeling so pumped up, you won't be able to help but go and begin a decluttering project.
donate. Really good size bag. All these clothes I want to wash just because they've been on the floor of that closet mixed in with garbage. So we're going to wash it, donate this, and then this is all we've got left. motivated and you have some ideas on how to get yourself started and you cannot wait to get into some areas of your house that you know are going to make a huge difference. I promise you it is a thousand percent worth it. You are not even going to recognize your space afterwards in the best ways possible. Good luck. I am here to help. Leave me a comment. We can chat. I am here to cheer you on the entire way and I'll talk to you later. Bye.